okay so in the next lecture we are going to learn how to concatenate transformations so let me write the title as concatenation concatenation means combining all the transformations so how will i do that job so let me start with an exercise immediately so i want to develop a transformation matrix uh, which is given by t such that it set it uh, uh, an object goes through the following sequence of transformations okay for what will i do first i will take the object then i will reflect the object uh, through the line y equal to 0 what is line y equal to 0 means it is the x axis after that after reflecting the object through the x axis then i will perform shearing in x and y direction by units say 3 and minus 4 and then after doing the shearing i will translate it by 5 unit by minus 5 in the x direction okay so what is that matrix single matrix which will do these three things i hope you understand what is the question i have an object this is some object i'm not given what is the object first thing is i will apply the reflection along x axis so that object will be reflected down this along this axis because it is a y equal to zero then i will perform its shearing so when i perform the shearing that object will change the shape so this is the shearing matrix and after shearing i am going to translate that matrix by minus five so i'm going to pull it along the x direction i'm going to pull it minus five units so it will come somewhere here okay so this i'm calling going to call t3 so this is one matrix t uh, t T1 is a 3 by 3 matrix, T2 is also a 3 by 3 matrix, T3 is also a 3 by 3 matrix. So I've got three matrices. So when I multiply them in this fashion, T1, T2, T3, what will happen? I will get a single matrix which will do, which will take the first object into the last object. So what is that matrix we are going to find? So it is easy. So let me first write what is T1. So T1 is nothing but reflection matrix along the x axis and we know what is that matrix so let me write here t1 into t2 into t3 it will give me the final matrix and this will be what this will be 1 minus 1 and the 1 over here we know that this is always 1 multiplied by the next matrix that i will multiply is the shearing matrix shearing in the x direction is 3 so it will be 1 and 3 shearing in the y direction will be minus 4 so it will be minus 4 and 1 year so this this matrix will produce shearing in x and y direction and then last matrix is what last matrix is translation in the x direction i just want the translation in the x direction and we know translation is here to here so it is minus minus 5 over here and no translation in the y coordinate and otherwise here it is an identity matrix and a one here okay all the entries that i have not written are are what zero everywhere and then i will sit and quietly multiply these three matrices and whatever matrix i will get that will be the final answer and that will be the final matrix t so it's for the time being let me write down the final answer directly here you can sit and verify them in your free time but this job you have to do in your exams you this is not a there's no shortcut to this so remember you have to multiply them very very uh, precisely otherwise everything may go wrong okay so this is the answer of this particular question let me solve one more question of this type let me develop a, uh, a matrix which is uh, by using the following sequence of uh, transformations so let me write that matrix uh, let, let, let me write the sequence first i'm going to take an object and i'm going to do the scaling in the x coordinate by factor 1 by 3 
then I'm going to perform shearing in the Y coordinate by two units. And third, I'm going to translate it in the X direction. I'm going to translate it by one unit. And in the Y direction, I'm going to translate it by three units. And further, I'm going to say, find the out, find the transformation on point two minus three. So what will happen? So, so this is clear now. I'm going to write the first matrix T1, T2, T3. I'm going to multiply them. So T1 is scaling in the X coordinate, which is given by one by three, one. This is one. Second thing is sharing in the Y coordinate by two units. So this is one zero and this is two one. And this is again a zero zero one, zero zero one multiplied by the last matrix is translation in the X coordinate and the y coordinate so identity matrix at the first block and here i'm going to write what one and three and i'm going to sit and multiply these three matrices i'm going to get a matrix one by three two by three zero zero one zero one one three okay so this is the final matrix T, which does first this, second this, and third this. Okay, remember, this sequence is very important. You cannot change the order of the sequence. It will give you wrong answers because you know that the set of matrices is a, is a non-commutative group. So A, A dot B is not equal to B dot A. So that will create problems if you change the order of these. Okay, and what is the final the answer of this? So it means that apply the point two minus three on this matrix, but this point is given in which coordinates? This is the physical coordinates. So I will convert it into homogeneous coordinates because what I've done all this job was for this only, right? So I'm going to write the homogeneous coordinates two minus three and one, and then I'm going to multiply with this three by three matrix, which I have obtained above. And again, I will get a answer in the homogeneous coordinates. So this, this will, uh, this I will get five by three, four by three, and one. So this is the way you actually work with the three uh, with the concatenation of the transformations. And now you understand in solving this problem that we have actually used what the homogeneous coordinates. Okay. Let us solve one more problem. Suppose I have an object and the, the things that I'm going to do for this object is I'm going to first perform reflection through, through the x-axis. The second uh, transformation that I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it about 90 degrees. And the third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale the object in the x direction and y direction by two units and minus one units respectively okay so what will be the final answer so this is clear now what is t t is nothing but t1 into t2 into t3 and reflection about x axis is given by one minus one and a one here then I'm going to multiply it by the second matrix is the rotation matrix by 90 degrees which is cos 90 sine 90 minus sine 90 cos 90 remember if it is 90 degrees it is easy if it is 60 degrees 70 degrees you have to use a calculator and find that matrix and th there you have to use your radiance mode okay and last is the scaling in the x direction will be 2 so i'm going to write a 2 here and scaling in the y direction is going to be minus 1 so i'm going to write a minus 1 here and this is going to be the the matrix and then I'm going to multiply and I will get the final three by three matrix which can be done in your leisure time okay now while often doing these problems it uh, it comes to us that you have to multiply the given three by three matrix in a little smarter way in a little faster way otherwise if you perform your matrix multiplication as usual it will take you a bit longer time and so to save your time, let me tell you some uh, some tips of multiplication 
of three by three matrices in a very uh, quick way. Okay, now if you really observe one simple property, if you take a three by three matrix, suppose I'm taking a matrix A, B, C, D, E, F, R, S, T. Okay, and if I'm multiplying rows, look at, pay attention at the rows here. If I'm multiplying it by the row zero, one, zero, then I'm multiplying the second row. Uh, I'm having the second row as suppose one, zero, zero, and third row is having zero, zero, one. Okay, this means that this first person is actually the unit vector E2. This means that this is the unit vector E1 and this is the unit vector E3. When you actually multiply this, you'll understand that if you're if you're having E2 at this position, it means that you're supposed to write the second row here, D, E, F. Okay, if you carefully multiply, you see zero into A, 1 into D and 0 into R. So you will get a D over here. When you go for finding this, you will get 0 into B plus 1 into E plus 0 into S. So you will get a E here. Okay. This is the way you will get second row because you have here what? You have E2. Now, if you're having a E1 over here, this means that in the next place, you're going to get here what? You're going to get here ABC, which is the first row. If you're multiplying by E3 here, then you're going to get the third row as it is in the output. Whereas when you have the matrix ABC, let me write the matrix ABC, DEF and RST. And if I'm suppose I'm looking at here, I'm writing 0, 1, 0, and I'm writing 1, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1. Okay, what am I going to get here now? Now, when, the, when such a type of simple matrix is to the right hand side, Okay, then you have to look at the column. Now this column is actually representing what? This is representing E2. This column is representing E1. And this column is representing E3. So when I multiply this, you see 0 into A plus 1 into B plus 0 into C. So I'm going to get a B here. Now you can make a guess that if I'm multiplying by E2 on the right hand side, then I will get the second column as it is. If I'm multiplying E1 on the right hand side, then I'm going to get the first column as it is. If I'm going to multiply by E3 in the last in, in year, if I have E3 here, this means I'm going to write the last column CFT. So these two tricks are going to help you to understand the matrix multiplications much more faster. So let us take an example. Suppose I'm having one by three. So this is the scaling matrix and I have to multiply it by a shearing matrix, shearing in the y direction by two units. Okay. And the last matrix is what I'm going to take a translation matrix and I'm going to translate it by X coordinate one and Y coordinate three. Okay. Now I have to multiply these, uh, these three matrices as fast as possible without wasting my time. So, Somewhere you have to do the calculations, but we will try to save our maximum time in multiplication. Now let us see how can I use those tricks. Okay. Now to learn first, I will look at these two matrices. Now this is equal to, this is going to give me, look at the second here you have E2. So this means that you are going to get the second row as it is. The second row is this. Okay. The second row of this. This is E3. This means you're going to get the third row as it is. Right. So the rows are done. Okay. And if you look at this now, if you look here, this is the first column, which is E1. This means that the first column will be of the matrix. Now I'm changing the role of matrix and entries also. Okay. So this is first column and this is the first column is E1. So when I multiply this, I will get the first column as it is, which is one by three, zero, zero. Are you understanding this? So, so when I look here, this is E3. This means this last column will also remain the same, which is last column is, so I did something wrong here. I'm sorry. I wrote a wrong here. 
the and the last column will be 001 so it will be 001 as it is carried forward so the only entry that I, I need to carefully calculate is this particular entry so my all other entries i could make up a, a guess of what is it and when i actually multiply this now only i have to physically multiply this and when i multiply 2 into 1 by, uh, uh, 1 into 2 uh, 1 by 3 into 2 i will get a 2 by 3 over here so this multiplication is of these two matrices when i look at this particular thing i'm having a 100 010 and 131 okay now can we uh, see what is the answer here so when i write the answer over here look at this this is e2 the second row uh, e2 is in the second row means i will write the second row as it is who is the second row the second row is 010 when I'm looking in, this is E3, this is E3, correct? I'm looking it from the left side now. Uh, this is E3. Uh, so this means that the last row will be as it is. So looking E1 and E2, E3 from the left hand side is over. Now if I look even E2, E3 from the right hand side, okay, here you see that this is E3. So this means the last column of the matrix is going to be as it is so it means that i have to just calculate and look at uh, okay now nothing is left now ni neither this is even e2 so this is a mixture of even and e2 right so i cannot do it now you have to only calculate these two entries actually okay so those two entries after your actual physical calculation will come up to be what will come up to 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 Okay, so let me solve one more uh, question of this type. Suppose I'm having uh, three matrices, which is this. Now, can you make a guess? What is this matrix representing? It is representing the reflection of an object along the line uh, y equal to minus x. Uh, if I write this matrix 1, minus 4, 0, 3, 1, 0, and uh, 0, 0, 1, this type of matrix is actually shearing in the y coordinate is by minus four units shearing in the x coordinate is by three units and then i'm going to multiply it by the third matrix which is given by one's identity in the top and uh, i'm going to use actually i'm saying translation in the x coordinate by minus one and translation in the y coordinate by two units okay now how am i going to multiply this as fast as possible so i will look at the first two objects look at this first one this is what is this this is not e2 but it is minus of e2 so i will write the second column with signs changed look at the next one this is e1 with a minus sign means i'm going to write the first row of the matrix 1 minus 4 0 with the signs changed minus 1 plus 4 0 and look at the third one it is e3 means it is the last uh, e3 as it is means last row as it is so i'm remaining with this so this multiplication is over now let us multiply look at 100 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and minus 1 to 1 now here at some point of time you have to work first row can is nothing second row is nothing but last row is actually E3, means the last row will be copied as it is of the, of the matrix. Now, change the role of matrix. Now, this is the matrix, and these are my unit vectors. I'm going to observe them as unit vectors. First column is, is not even E2, E3. Second column is also neither even E2, E3. But the last column is what? The last column is E3. This means the last column is to be copied as it is. Okay, and therefore this means that my job actually reduces to finding what? My job actually reduces to finding only these four type of these these four entries. Okay. Now if you look at these four entries and you if you erase all the th all the entries of the last column. Now look them as two by two matrices. In two by two matrices, I can say that this is E1. So this means the first column will be pasted as it is. And this is looking like E2 means the second column will also be pasted as it is. 
and this is the way without doing any multiplication i could write the multiplication of these three matrices in the facet otherwise it will take a long time for you